uh, and there is a <clears throat> there is a knock-on effect um, uh, to do with countries, uh, and I don't know. Um, it, it's a very complicated issue. C can I tell it to you? With with countries, <clears throat> we're all right for yes, time. Please. Um, you may want to you may want to uh, take this section off and show it to any kings or royal people. <clears throat> but I have, and I think this this really sums up um, where we're going here. <clears throat> I have spoken to the most secret people in governments. Uh, include uh, around 60 royal people, kings, queens, princesses, princes, uh, top government officials, leaders of people, leaders of governments, around 60. And over the years, they started to tell me the same story. And I wish I were the one clever enough to think this up, but I wasn't. Uh, uh, and and it, it, by the time I started to see other kings and queens, and I thought, I know what you're going to say. And, and true enough, it, it starts to come out. <clears throat> and some of these are where uh, a transmitter was put right on top of the palace, or beside the palace, and maybe people have got cancer and died inside the palace. <clears throat> and it has made them angry and they want to talk to someone like me because they're not getting anywhere with their own governments uh, <clears throat> but the story they keep telling me um, in bits and pieces it was highlighted by one king and <clears throat> we were you okay there? yeah okay fine Okay. it was by one king uh, and I probably spoke to this king for two and a half hours uh, at a table, and we, we were talking like this. And he leaned forward in his chair, and he, in a very low voice, he said, Barry, he said, I am losing the viability of my country. He said, and he was educated what we call Oxbridge, Oxford or Cambridge. Uh, and he said, he's far more clever than I, than I am. And he said, I'm losing the viability of my country. We were talking about conversations. Now, I never give names, but I can say, you know, I've been told this before and this before. <clears throat> and it seems to be a familiar story, and I'll tell you what it is. Usually the government, or somebody in the government, invites the communications industry in. They spread across the country. The government gets lots of taxes back, which everybody likes. But then you start to get illnesses, and the cost of health starts to creep up quite considerably. The next thing you notice is that your crops or your farm animals start to become sick and you start to lose the food that you generate in your own country to feed your own country. So you've got sickness going up and you've got your, your food going down. <clears throat> then you're pollinating insects which are everything from ants to creepy crawlies to bees to bats, uh, they start to disappear and become sick. And I've given many lectures, two at Glastonbury at the festival, on why pollinating insects, and, and those papers are on the internet. Um, <clears throat> so he says, he said, well, my people are becoming sick and I cannot afford the medications to, to help this number of people. <clears throat> My workforce is going down because they're sick. I have to start importing 
food that I would normally be growing. He said, and another thing, the industry come in, but most of my money in this country is leaving. Now, imagine, he said, if I have a million mobile phone users and they all spend the equivalent of one American dollar a day on phone calls, one dollar a day, then every day a million dollars is leaving my country to go to the four main providers who are outside my country. Admittedly, a little bit comes back because we take some in tax and there are shops where they sell their things and people get paid, but most of the money, every day a million dollars, is leaving. Now we cannot sustain that financial loss over 20 years. <clears throat> he said, my illness is going up, which means I have to import drugs. My food is going down, my workforce is going down. He said, and no country can sustain this. He said, and then the very, the very time I start to worry about this, and, and other royals have said this, he said, the countries that are causing this are the first people to come in with aid. They come in, their drug firms come in. But the price of this aid is that they either want to bring people into my country and have mining rights or land rights or immigration rights or they want water or gold, whatever. <clears throat> but there is a price to pay when they come in offering aid. They offer drugs uh, and medicines and food and everything I need but I'm losing my country to the people who have come in. And he said, if I, if I wanted to take over another country now, I wouldn't bother sending a fleet of bombers and military troops. I would just put up transmitters and wait. He said, and I am losing the viability of my country I am locked into contracts I cannot get out of, that I did not sign, even as king, and I'm losing my country. And this is going on all over the world. Exactly. It's the big corporate takeover. It is a big corporate it's takeover. Like big mobile, big, big pharma, big cancer, yeah. big money. It's, and and yeah. this was, and I thought, well, okay, I've been told this before, but a farmer, a, a gentleman farmer, that I was talking to, um, he said, I'm out of work now. And I said, well, why is that? Um, and he said, there's a farm down there, he said, and I've worked there for the last 30, 40 years. He, he, he would just walk down to the farm and work. <clears throat> he said, and not so long ago, I was walking down to my farm, just an ordinary farm labourer. He said, and there was an American right in the middle of the road this is Africa, right in the middle of the road with a gun. And the, the American said to me, where are you going? And he said, I'm going to work, I, I work in that farm. And the American said, not anymore. This is our land now and you cannot go there. And he said, but you know, this is my job, my livelihood. I have to feed my family and I have to go to work. And he said, the American said, if you pass me, I will shoot you. I have the right to shoot you. Go back. And he had to turn back and he's just lost his job. Just like that. And, and this is the price. This is the price of moving these around. <clears throat> and when you look at the main countries, and I'm prepared to name them, we are looking at the Indonesians who are putting out the industry, uh, namely Japan, and if you look at what Japan wants, they have a little country, they need water, they need land, along with the Indonesians, 
and the Americans. Uh, and the Americans want to dominate the world. So it, it, it makes sense, it makes sense uh, that, you know, this is happening. <clears throat> um, it is a big corporate takeover, but it gets even more serious, and you can ask this question later by all means, because the reason that countries won't help you is the Secret Service. They will not let this industry fail. And if we have 85% of our children sick in 20 years time, it is worth now the Secret Service having the benefits from all, all these people carrying cell phones. Does that, that answers your question, but is it? Yeah, it's also, when we look at the Secret Service in Denmark, of course, they don't, they, actually they protect the industry, as you say, they protect the ministers, but the ministers don't serve the people, they serve upwards. <coughs> Would you like me to talk about this? Yes, please. Um, now, the, the Secret Service, <coughs> they have what they think is like a gift from God, right? If we go back, let's go back 10 years or 12 years. If the your Secret Service said to, or in this country or any country, if they said to the people, um, now listen to us people, <clears throat> we are going to give you a little box you must carry this little box everywhere you go, like a, a identity card. You must carry this everywhere you go. We will be able to listen to every single conversation you have, whether it is on or off. We will know everywhere you go because we can track it, whether it's on or off. If you put messages in, um, secret messages under your code where nobody can, can get at them, we will be able to go in, we have a device that will go in, unlock your code and read anything private, medical records, bank records, anything, any secret. So we will know everything about you, we will know everywhere you go, everybody you talk to, we will record every conversation. Now there is a benefit to this, <clears throat> is that you will be able to push a few buttons and talk to people. Now we're going to make all of you carry these and you'll probably find most people wouldn't want one. But it's come out in such a way that they are wanted by everybody because they encourage you to be lazy. They are addictive because they entrain the brain. They are addictive. Um, but the Secret Service know everything about everybody all of the time. Even business people, everybody. <clears throat>